How is everybody doing? I hope you are doing good. I am doing okay. I'm getting better every day. I had that terrible, terrible cold. You know, the one. Well, you just can't do anything but sleep like the flu. Yeah, it kicked me. Um, still feeling a little blah. But. And no, Katrina, I have not done my nails. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. What do you think? Paint them, guys? Yes, no? Maybe? Yeah. I haven't decided. I keep them pretty plain for the simple fact that, uh, I work with food a lot, and nail polish is not a good thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's not why I came on. I came on to say hi, guys, and to say thank you for being so awesome and being so supportive. Um, sorry, I haven't been on. I also came to tell you guys that, um, Since I've been sick, my intuition intuition is off a little bit, but it's still kind of there. It's, I mean, it's always going to be there. It's just who I am. But I guess what I'm trying to say is um, when I was running fever, I was having weird dreams, and I'm pretty sure they're not, um, like, I don't know. They're definitely psychic dreams, but they felt off because I was running fever and not feeling good. But I, one dream was I was uh, playing in the forest with Summer. And I say forest, like trees, lots of trees. We were playing chase and having a good time. And all of a sudden she goes, run and hide. And I'm like, why? And then I turned around, and she's just nowhere to be found. And her mom's standing there. And I'm like, uh, hi. You? And she goes, have you seen Summer? And I'm like, no. No, I have not seen Summer. And in my head, I'm thinking, I wouldn't tell you if I had. And I woke up, and I had a fever. And I was like, oh. Good. Fever dream. Yay. <laughs> but now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, no, she was, she was in my dream. So, and that was a couple days ago. Um, I haven't had any more like it, so, uh, there's that. And this whole thing with, you know, boots on the ground in... I don't even want to go into that little bit. I think that they, their intention is good. I'm trying to help find her. And I've heard, you know, the whole drama between both sides of the fence and what everybody's opinion is. And to be honest, as a mom, I would be in those woods every single day, day in, day out, not sleeping, not eating, trying to find my child. And everybody I came across, everyone would know that she was missing. I wouldn't be sitting in my house, allegedly doing drugs, drinking, having a fun time. I would be, I would be a wreck. It would be just devastating. And that's how it should be when you're a mom, when your child is missing. And a perfect example of that would be uh, Brandy Vaughn. She is heartbroken. Her heart is so, it's just, it's crushed. So we have to help her find Michael. We have to bring him home. And I still feel like he's 
in Idaho. Definitely near a farm or in a farm. The highway 37 keeps popping up. Every time I think of like his location, he's I see the number three and seven. And I don't know if it's like marker 37, but whenever I asked the rods last, they said highway 37. If you go into the map and you find the highway, it's an old highway 37 and it actually runs north to south, right below uh, Pensacola. I guess that's the name of the city. Um, somewhere in that area, it's, that's where he needs to be looking, or they need to be looking. And I still see a silo, and I hear the name, or the word grain, grain silo. Um, Um, yeah, I don't know if it's a running farm or if people live there or if it's a family's farm that's been abandoned for a while. So, uh, anyway, I am a little off on my game tonight, but... <clears throat> I didn't come on here to read tonight. I just came on here to tell you how I'm feeling about the situation and to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and hope that you guys have, you know, a really wonderful time with family and friends this season. Be safe in everything you do. Um, feeling a little rough still. It's the night that's coming on. Um, hopefully I'll feel more and more like myself <clears throat> as we get closer to the end of the week. I have to go back to work, but right now I'm drinking my tea and watching the smoke and listening to beautiful music and being thankful for everything I have. Yes, I am burning that sentence, even though I can't smell it. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I was stuck my head in a bag of incense that I had, and I was like, no, oh, I'm good, I'm congested. <laughs> I can't smell any of this. <laughs> so, um, and I'm drinking peacetime tea, which is a blend of like rose and chamomile and other uh, eucalyptus. Sorry. <clears throat> My voice keeps giving out. So. But, um, yeah, I was watching the smoke and the lamp again and listening to music. And really wanting to help these poor children that are missing. Huh. I heard you're doing a good job. I don't feel like it sometimes. I um I'm gonna probably sit down tomorrow and pull out my pad and ask the rods or ask my pendulum for yes and no answers on the direction. I wanted to do it tonight, but to be honest, I haven't really done a whole lot since I haven't been well. But I usually am pretty good about getting direction. Um, I started in a point, so if I start where his house is at, I would ask, you know, north, yes or no, east, yes or no, west, yes or no. 
and I would just travel to the next point. So if we start in Fruitland, then I would go to whatever direction to the next city. And I'd do that the whole time until I can get to a here. I'm here feeling. So, and I've done that before with um, uh, Daniel Robinson. Actually, I wrote out a whole three page direction by direction by direction asking um, the pendulum yes or no to get the right direction. Um, and yes, I did turn that over to um, my family or to the tips. But I don't think they take psychics, you know, sincere. So. But it is an idea of somewhere they can be looking. It's not going to hurt them at least to try to look in that area. So. Oh, anyway. My energy is getting better. I definitely feel a little bit more like myself than I did a couple days ago. Um, and it's not the first time I've been sick. There's, you know, life. As a kid, you're sick probably a lot. And as you get older, the more you get sick, the worse it seems on your body. But, you know, we do subside. There, it will subside. So. Anyway, I was just coming on to say, guys, I love you. And I'm really glad you guys are still supporting me. And, yes, everything I do is for free. I don't charge anything. I never wanted to. That wasn't the intention of starting a YouTube. I just really want to uh, help people. Help the lost and the ones that don't have a voice anymore. Um, if there's any cases that y'all can think of that y'all would like me to look into, um, please just leave them in a comment. And uh, when I'm better, I will definitely investigate into those. I don't know why I've heard the name Kathy. Yeah, I'll ask later. Maybe I'll know who Kathy is. Anyway, let me know if there's anything that y'all would like me to do. I have no idea how to do polls on here yet. I'm still learning. Um, but yeah, if there's a case that you'd like me to look into, or if there is somebody who needs some guidance or help, I can definitely try to do that. Um, like I said, my next read will be me doing the directions for Michael Font's location. I've tried it with Summer, and that's how I came up with the Morrison Cemetery. Um, well, plus the fact that Summer told me about it, but... I still feel like she's there, and I haven't even asked if she's been moved since. Which is a very big possibility, too, since they're watching the, you know, internet. And trying to find out what people know. So, but, uh, yeah, I didn't think that the grave where his mother was buried was the right location but they're on the right track 
Um, so, someone's about to crack on that one. I can feel it. I'm not really sure who, if it's going to be her or him. I'm going to take a bet. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, guys. But, um, I will come back in a couple days. It's going to take me, um, probably a couple sessions to do the, the reading on location. I don't like to rush it. And I like to make sure that I ask a couple of times on the direction and I'll start over a couple times just uh, okay, okay we're starting here again let's go back to here which way from here A B C D um, anyway I'm just rambling now because <laughs> that's what I do I'm not trying to keep you guys long tonight. I hope you'll have a good evening. I will come back in a couple days. Thank you guys for subbing. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back in a couple days with more information on Michael Vaughn. Okay? I love y'all. Bye.